Hi, welcome to Ken Journal. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install MongoDB 6 on your computer. To understand the installation process, MongoDB is divided majorly into two components. We have the server component and the client component. So the server is pretty much the actual database and the client, there are um, processes that connect to your database. Um, so that you can perform DB operations. Now, it used to be that when you download from MongoDB website, you would have both the server and the client together in the bin folder, but that changed. So if you go to the MongoDB website, and I would link this in the, in the description below, you would come here and then you come to MongoDB community server. You can go ahead and click on download here if you have a different operating system you can pretty much select it here so if you come here to the download folder you go to the bin you would see these files here don't worry about this mongod is pretty much the server process so we also still need a client now if you try to run this so you have um mongod cannot be open this is a common error and you can actually copy this um, you will see there's actually a a post about that and how to fix it but I'll just show you how to fix it so go to system settings right and then if you scroll down um, you go to privacy and security you scroll down and then you can actually open anyway so you're gonna click on this So now when you try to open MongoDB, you need to have a config file. The config file pretty much points to um, where the data, your data is going to be stored. So if you look at this arrow, um, we need to have a DB path. So there's a missing directory. So for that, we need to just make a directory called Mongo underscore data, right? actually get the path to the folder and then we can go back to where we had our installation which is in downloads and then we can run that script again mongod and then we're going to say db iphone db path equals that what was the error db path okay and so now the uh, server process has started but we need to have a client to perform db operations on the server so if you go back here to products community edition now we can actually find the client come to tools okay so this is the client and now we can do a download and click to open that and then in here in the bin in the bin, we have this Mongo SH. You can double click on that and you're gonna run into the same identity issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Come here to secure privacy and security. And then you see Mongo was blocked. Open anyway. Okay. Um, so this is the client, which opens up on a new terminal. I'm gonna exit this. I'm gonna open a new tab. And then right here, let's go back to where the folder is. Okay, then bin Mongo. Okay, so now we can just perform operations on MongoDB. So I'm just gonna do db.stats. And yep, so now you see that we can pretty much run commands. And if you go back to, if you come back here, you can see all the files that are generated for us that has to do with the collections that we create in mongodb one other thing i want to point out is to be able to, to start the mongod process and the mongosh process you don't have to always go down back to your downloads to the bin folder all the time you can actually include the path to the bin folders for both mongosh um, and mongod in your system path the other way to install 
MongoDB is using Homebrew. Come here to resources and then come to developer center. Click on documentation and here MongoDB manual. And then you can see install MongoDB here. It's going to bring you down to this page. I'll link the, <laughs> the link down in the description, but it's not straightforward to actually get here. Then you click on install MongoDB community edition. You have install on Mac OS and right here you have steps that you can follow to install MongoDB on your, on your system. So let's go ahead and follow the steps. Install Xcode select. I already have that. Okay. Now the pros for using this uh, homebrew to install MongoDB is that you don't have to download the server and the client separately. And then I already have MongoDB community installed. So once all of that is, is downloaded, you can pretty much just go ahead and do MongoD. You specify the DB part, right? And then I have that process started. So now that I have the shell running, I can, so db starts, <coughs> oops, db dot starts. Okay. So yes, and we have a MongoDB setup on our local machine. I'm going to stop the video here. Thank you for watching.